Hey guys, Martha Great is here. In today's video, I want to talk about embrace your flaws in life. Now, if you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video and hit that notification bell uh, for more of my upcoming videos. And let's get right into it, y'all. So, embrace your flaws, right? And there are so many flaws that we may have in life. One flaw that I've discovered about myself is that I wouldn't consider this a flaw, but I'd just say it's something that I can't do. So one thing that I can't do is grow a full beard. And I know this is a funny thing, but a lot of people can't grow beards. Like they can't grow a full beard. So what did I do? I ended up getting a beard cut. You know, I'm kind of rocking the um, the anchor beard right now. And I know a lot of people are saying, Mark, you ain't got no anchor beard. Mark, what are you talking about? I'm like, man, but it's just something that I discovered about myself. It's like I discovered that, hey, my beard, I can't grow a full grown beard. So I'm like, I might as well cut it off, you know. And I embrace that part of myself, you know, and I think that comes with a level of self-confidence to say, hey, man, I know I can't grow a full beard. Why not try something else? And that's the conclusion that I came up with. And I want you guys to learn how to embrace your flaws or like not being able to grow a full beard or, you know, even just being a tad bit introverted, you know, like you embrace it and you have to work with it, you know, and it may not be in a way that other people would work with it or it may, but you just have to find what is going to, what is a way that you can work with your flaws. And, you know, I think a lot of people have a problem with this because you know, they're not happy with who they are or they lack the self-confidence within themselves and they're not willing to maybe push outside their comfort zone or they're just not willing to make a change in their life. And I'm just here to tell you guys that, you know, you got to learn how to embrace your flaws, you know, so that you know, you can do a lot of things in life so that you build that self-confidence about yourself. You know what you can do and what's compatible for you and what's not compatible, you know? And I think this is something that us as a society probably could work on. We just have to find who we are, you know, and find what works for us. Because everything is not going to be the same for everybody. Like I mentioned in one of my videos, um, for an example, success doesn't look the same for everybody. Some people's success might be to live in a cabin and make $5,000 a month. Some people's success might be to live in a penthouse in Miami and to be financially free for the rest of their life. Some people's success can be, oh, I got, I have a very good paying job and I have a good family. Like success looks different for everybody, but you just have to figure out, okay, what is compatible for me? What do I want in my life? You know, what do I desire in my life? Do I want to be rich? Do I want to have kids? Do I want to have a family? You know, and as we get older, we have the freedom to make these decisions. And yes, they all come with consequences, good or bad. But, you know, I think you have to, within that process, you have to figure out, okay, what are my flaws? What are they? You know, and sometimes you fix them and sometimes it's sometimes you can't fix them or sometimes you can work with them. Like for me, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I, I have autism. 
but I have to find ways or I use that to my advantage, you know? I use that to my advantage to uh, be, a, be a citizen in society, you know? I, I use what I'm strong at and then I also try to work on things that I'm not so strong at, you know? And that is a part of life, guys. Is like no human being is going to be perfect in everything. You know, some people may have the intelligence but not the social skills. Some people may have the social skills but not the intelligence. Some people may have both. You know, but I think even your flaws is something to be embraced. And a lot of times your flaws can be improved. Let me say that again. A lot of times your flaws can be improved. Now, sometimes it is what it is, but then there's other things that it's like, you know what? This is an area in my life that I can improve on, you know? If I know I'm lacking in my social skills, I can improve on my social skills. If I'm lacking in, um, you know, having self-confidence in myself, I can improve on that. You know, if I lack... Um, fitting in, I mean, and not that you always have to fit in, but sometimes as humans, we're meant to socialize. And if you don't fit in, it's, you know, back in ancient times, if you didn't fit in and if you were ostracized, you didn't really survive long. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to be in a society and it's, you know, it's good to be among people and, you know, and that's just how life is. It's like sometimes it's it's worth working on your flaws and improving your flaws. Improving just certain aspects that you know that you can fix and working with the ones that you can't all the way fix, you know. And I think that's a part of life, guys. I think. I think that's what makes life so beautiful is um, every human being is different and unique. And that's what I really discovered about, you know, me trying a new um, beard style. I'm I'm rocking an anchor beard. I keep saying it, but I'm rocking the anchor beard. And I'm like, man, my face, the way my facial hair is, is different from some other people's facial hair. And that's okay but that's what but see that's that's life guys I want you guys to learn how to embrace flaws or just things that you can't do and things that you can do you know and you work with the things that you can do and then you improve on things that you can't and if you can help it you know and man if y'all really think about it I think the world would be a different place if everyone was the same. Let me say that again. I think the world would be a different place if everything and everyone was the same. Because you wouldn't have any uniqueness. You wouldn't have any different perspectives on life. If everyone worked the same occupation, I think that society would be a disaster. I think it would come crashing down because everyone needs a job to, you know, do in society. We need our plumbers. We need our electricians. We need our accountants. We need our lawyers. We need our, our, um, you know, we need our corporate people. We need our CEOs. We need, we just need all types of people to survive. And if everyone was the same, the world wouldn't survive. And that's the honest truth. The world would come, would collapse, literally. Everyone and everything was the same. You know, and and it would be almost like this, and I don't mean to be a conspiracy theorist, but it would be like this, like, new world order where everything is the same. And just, it would be like 
so much structure, but it would be, it would be so boring. You know what I'm saying? Like if everything and everyone was the same, it would be so boring. It would be, it, there would be no, the, the, the uniqueness in life wouldn't be there. But the fact that we look different, that's already a, 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 that's a factor that, hey, we're not meant to be the same. You know, no one, no one person has ever had the same fingerprint. Let me say that again. No one person has had the exact same fingerprint or genetic makeup. You know, everyone is different. And that is what makes life so flavorful and beautiful is the uniqueness, the different perspectives, the different uh, occupations, different beard styles, the different haircuts. That is what makes life unique. And, you, and being able to see different parts of the world, like that is what makes life very unique. You know, just seeing different things and, you know, and I think this is all a part of embracing your flaws. It's just finding what is unique to you, finding your own style that is compatible for you, finding things that are compatible for you, you know, and that's just how life works. And it, other people, and here's the thing, guys. A lot of other people, they don't have to like you. And I mean, a lot of people do things, and I think this is another problem, is a lot of people are afraid to embrace their flaws because they're afraid of what others think about them. They're afraid of, oh, does this person like what I have? Does this person like me? Does this, like, does this person like what I have or what I'm wearing? You know, a lot of people are afraid to embrace that part of themselves. And I'm I'm just here to tell y'all that you have to embrace that and you're not going to please everybody. And that's a part of life. And that is, that's a reality that a lot of people have to face is you're not going to make everybody happy, right? You're not going to make sometimes even your parents they may not like how you do things but it's your life it's your own like what they think may work for you and may not work for you some people may say oh you need to go to college or you need to do this and do that and yes it's compatible for a lot of people but it's only compatible for what, 20% of the population? So a lot of people are not college students. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that college isn't beneficial because it is, but it's like a lot of people don't really fit the college. Um, they don't fit in that. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they don't, some people college isn't for. You know, some people learn differently. Some people just simply we just want to pursue their own occupation you know some people it's it's too sometimes college is too expensive for some people you know so it's many different factors and that's a, such a something as college you know and for me I know I need to go to college because you know I'm more of a intelligent individual and I'm more of a corporate type of guy you know I'm not really a tradesman I'm not a handyman so I'm like you know what I'm very intellectual I'm an intellectual and I I'm very smart so I'm like you know what college is ideal for me you know I'm the type of guy that needs to go to college but some people may not need to go to college and that's okay and you just have to figure out, okay, what are my strengths and what are my flaws? And you just work with them. You work with them. And that's, that's just all it is, guys. And really, y'all, this is something that I've learned 
you know, especially being in college, is is learning to embrace who you are and learn to be comfortable in your own skin. Because you can't be somebody else, but you can always be yourself. Let me say that again. You can't be somebody else, but you can always, and I mean 100% of the time, be yourself. Okay, so I really want to drill that in y'all, man. I really, I really want to say that to you guys because a lot of people are afraid of being themselves, you know, and, and who's, if, if everyone is being themselves, who, who's going to be you? No one. <laughs> if everyone is being themselves, here's the thing, guys, no one is going to be you. And that is what makes you unique. And no one can ever be you. But that is what makes you unique. Because only you can be you. You know? And this is something that I've had to learn. I'm like, hmm. And this is something that I've used to fight opinions of me. And I'm like, hmm. If no one is going to be me, I might as well be me. You know? Like, I might as well be me. Because if no one's going to do it, I might as well do it. And if I'm not me, who am I going to be? That, that was so, that's such a line. If I'm not me, who am I going to be? And it's going to be, you're going to be a nobody. And do you really want to be a nobody? No. So why not just be you? You know, and that. That's the beauty of life is like you can always be you. No one can be you but you. And man, you just got to get to a point in your life where you're like, man, I'm, you know, not that I, I, I don't care about what other people think about me because sometimes I do. But it's like I can't live for other people, but I can live for me. You know, and and yes, you want to mingle in society and yes, you want to you want to fit in to a certain degree because, you know, you don't want to be so ostracized that, you know, you go into like some mental breakdown or you just like give up altogether. But like you also want to have that individuality about yourself and you you know and people will embrace you for that like people will embrace you because you're just being yourself they're like okay this is so and so okay this is so and so you know they're just going to embrace you because you're you're going to be accepted because you're yourself and people like people that are themselves people don't like people that put on a a facade or put on a fake show and I'm like you gotta show people who you really are and that's how you get far in life that's how people make friends that's how friend friendships are formed they people show who they really are and this is something that I, I sometimes struggle with because I'm more of a I'm more of an introvert but then it's like I have another side to me that I haven't shown, you know, and I think a lot of introverts can relate to this or a lot of people that are more on the quieter side. I don't really like labels like introvert, extrovert, ambivert. I think all these things are labels, to be honest. I think I'm like, don't ever like to be honest with you, I don't really like labels. I'm like, man, because. I realize that people can change and, you know, like labels are just things to limit people's beliefs and in themselves. And that's just truly what I think. But it's like, you know, people can change, but it's like when you're yourself, people embrace that about you. You know, you you just got to embrace every part of yourself, man. You really do. And that's that's the that's a part of life. You know? And that's 
this is some of the stuff I wanted to talk about today. Because, like, I've lately I've been just away from YouTube and I haven't been posting videos because I'm like, you know what? I want to take a break from YouTube. I'm like, man, you know, I, I just want to live my life and live the college life and, you know, just be myself and engage what I want to engage in and, like, you know, just, honestly, I just want to be myself, man, and, and that's just me right now, I'm like, man, I don't have to, now, a lot of you guys might want me to post every week or every two weeks or so, and, and I get that, because, you know, but sometimes, I'm gonna be honest, y'all, like, even, like, content creators, they need breaks sometimes, and, You know, I think a lot of content creators are, I think a lot of content creators are putting on a front to say, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that. Now, if it's your career, I understand, but it's like, I almost feel like people are like selling their soul in a way because they're, they're compromising their own happiness to please other people. And for me, I'm like, eh, that doesn't really sit well with me. And I, I just rather um, just be myself, like post whenever I have the time or whenever I have something to say. And it's, it's just that. And it is not on a particular schedule. It could be every two weeks. It could be every week. It could be every few days. But it's like, you know, I just... I just embrace every part of myself, man. And I think that's what a lot of people have to do is you just got to embrace who you are. And, and like, I I just, for me, I just don't like putting on a front for so long. And I think some of you guys might notice that, you know, I, when I make videos, I have an intro and outro and sometimes to be honest, y'all, I feel like even that's a front. And I'm like, you know what? I just need to be myself. And that's something that I'm working on. It's, it's just being who I am and not worrying about what others think about me or what he said or she said about me. It's just being who you are. And as long as you're you know, respectful about it, then I don't think there should be any problems, you know? And some people create problems out of thin air, but you know, that's life. And today's video, y'all, I know I was just on a rant, but today's video, I just wanted to make a video about embracing your flaws. And I think this is something every human being should learn how to do because we're unique in our own way and we're you know, everyone has something about them that they can embrace. Everyone has a unique trait about themselves that they can embrace. Some people are athletic. Some people are smart. Some people are, um, you know, some people are very analytical. Some people are, are very driven or ambitious. Some people, you know, So you just got to embrace every part of yourself, guys. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Also share this video. And hit that notification bell if you guys want more of my upcoming videos. And have a great day, everyone. It's Mark the Greatest. Peace.